Hello guys, welcome back to an another video. So guys, yesterday we are learned about first generation and second generation of computer. And today we are going to talk about third, fourth and fifth generations of computer. Okay. So, so at first I would like to ask you, how's your day going on and how's your life going? Hope you are doing well and your study is doing as well as are good. So no more talking, let's study our main topic, okay? Third generation of computer, what do you know about the third generation of computer? Okay, let's say. The development of the integrated service was the trait of the third generation of computer and integrated service also called IC. Considered of a single chip with many components such as transaction and resistors powerfully into a transistor this development made computers small in size and efficient okay instead of punched cards and printouts user instead with third generation computer through keyboards and monitors and interfered with an operating system this allowed the device to run many different applications at one time with a central program that monitored in memory. For the first time, computers become accessible to a majority of common people because they are smaller and cheaper than their predecessors. I don't know what is the meaning of predecessors. Please comment below if you know the word, the meaning of predecessors. Third generation's computer are following characteristics. These computers were based circuit IC technology. These were able, able to reduce computational time from mic, microseconds to nanoseconds. These are easily portable and more reliable than the second generation's computer. This device consumed less power and generated less debt. Fourth generation, 1975 to 1990 microprocessor. Fourth generation is an extension of third generation technology although the technology of this generation is still based in the integrated circuit this have been made readily available because of the development of the microprocessor circuit containing millions of transistors the intel chip which was developed in 1971 took the took the integrated circuits one step further by locating all the components of a computer memory input on a minuscule chip a microprocessor is built onto a single piece of silicon known as a chip it's about 0.5 cm along one side and along no more than 0.5 cm thick fourth generation computer led to an era of the large scale integration and very large scale integration technology lsi technology allowed thousands of transistors to be considered to the one of the size of silicon material whereas vlsi squeezed hundreds of thousands of components on a single chip four generation computers become more powerful computers become reliable affordable as a result it gave rise to the personal computer revolution my hair is very weak right huh Mm, but it's nice. I love big hair. Following are the characteristics of fourth generation computer. Fourth generation computers are microprocessor based systems. These computers are very small in size. These are the cheapest among all the generations of computers. These machines generate a negligible amount of heat. Hardware failures is negligible, so minimum maintenance is required. Interconnection of computer leads to better communication and resource sharing. Fifth generation, 1990 present and beyond artificial intelligence. The dream of the dream of creating a human-like computer that would be capable of reasoning and reaching at a decision through a series of what analysis has existed since the beginning of computer technology these are the objects for creating the fifth generation computer the starting point of the fifth generation computer had been set in early 90s 
the process of developing fifth generation of computer is still in the development stage. However, the expert system concept is already in use. The expert system is defined as a computer system that's the th three, three characteristics of with the fifth generation computer. These are follows: mega chips, parallel processing, artificial intelligence. So. Mm, types of computer computer can be classified in many different ways such as based in their purposes general purpose computer special purpose computer general purpose computer general purpose computer are used to handle a variety of tasks general purpose computers are used to handle a variety of tasks the programs are temporarily stored in computer once stored in the memory the programs can be executed after the completion of the execution of the program another program can be used for some other tasks some same hardware can be used for many different program as for example microcomputer is a general purpose computer a special purpose computer a special purpose computer is designed for a specific application it is also known as dedicated computer many such computers have instruction permanently programmed into memory are designed to perform only one major functions for as for the example a special purpose types of computer based on working principle are analog computer digital computer and hybrid computer analog computer the word analog co comes from greek word analogs which means establishing similarities between two quantities and analog computer is a form of computer that uses the continuously changeable aspects of co physical phenomena such as electrical mechanical or hydraulic quantities continuously varying physical parameters such as pressure distance or veloc velocity is fed as input to the analog computer after proceeding the results are represented by meters of oxygen example automatic speed meter digital computer digital computers work on the principle of counting it function it decreasing the variant switches finite sequence electricity can be controlled in many different ways but the easiest way it is it is switch on one to off to the represent by the system digital signal digital signal is cheap and reliable because it is used binary system analog computer do not have the ability of computers to the as well large quantities nor do they have the compressive logical facilities afforded by the program digital machine so guys here is to the topic of today no more today see you tomorrow